Hey y'all, it's me again, and we are dealing with my hair today. It is an absolute mess. I have been rolling like this for months. As you can see, my grays are graying, and also I have that brown, and then goes, I would rather just go straight from black to gray. <laughs> so I was like, today is kind of a down day. I've done just about everything I'm supposed to do. And I said, you have some free time, tackle your head, get it done. So I bought some hair dye, and that's another thing I promised I would not do, but desperate times calls for desperate measures. I have hair in my room, and it's not salt and pepper hair. So it's gonna look very weird to have all these braids popping out, and the hair is like jet black. My hair is so tangled, and with the hair dye that I'm about to put in, I'm using Dark and Lovely Fade Resist. I have used this before. It is a permanent. I should be using a rinse. They didn't have any rinses in the store, and it's storming outside, and I, I wasn't about to go store to store to store. This is one of those situations where you look in the mirror, you just say, I gotta do something. I gotta do something. So that's where we are right now. I'm not being gentle at all. Half of this is probably gonna get cut off after this particular hairstyle because I'm gonna be putting some crochets in. After this hairstyle, we're going to do protective styling for possibly until the summer. This part does not have to be perfect. I don't know why I'm trying to make it that way. So I got my little clips here and we're just gonna clip this into four. All right, guys, I poured the, um, what is this? The rich conditioning color into the cream developer. We're gonna close that up. I double glove because I don't want my nails to get stained. I expect some staining, but I try not to. And we're gonna shake it up. All right, guys, so I do have a little plastic cap because I have some other things that I have to do. So I'm not really caring about this shirt too much, but I'll cover it up anyway. So I guess going on a protective style journey will be one of my goals for 2024. Like I said, this is it. I don't think I'm gonna be dyeing my hair. I'm gonna try not to. I don't, mm, I don't want a lot of y'all. I'm gonna try not to. I'm gonna go into protective styling and just let it go gray under the wigs. And with time, I'll reveal it. And hopefully it'll be done with all of that browning. I just don't like it. But I hope that you guys are having a, a wonderful January so far. It's going by so fast. It's like, jeez. You know what? I'd rather protect the sink than to protect my hair. Or my shirt, rather. So let me lay this on the sink because I keep touching the sink. change there and I saw a lady because I was um thinking I was reading about this box and it said something about eight to ten weeks your hair could remain black or whatever the case may be and that hasn't been my experience it works pretty well but I can't say I get eight to ten weeks I start seeing the grays coming back but I come to realize it may not be the hair color fading it could just be new growth and more grays coming out that's what it could be so i don't really have anything negative to say about it it does color well
right guys so this is what we're looking like you can see that it took i'm gonna have to clean around my face of course and this uh counter is a mess so let me try to clean that up but i'm pretty pleased with what things are looking like so far i always close things up put them all back inside of the box all the things i don't need rather I'm gonna keep this on my head. They said for people with uh, perm hair, uh, 20 minutes. For people with natural hair, about 30 minutes. So that'll give me time to go back here, uh, change my mom, maybe give her a little something for uh, lunch. And then I'll come back in here. Nothing got through my gloves. I double gloved. So nothing got through the gloves. Also, I'm going to I think you can wash your hair, right? Yeah. Well, it'll be like a light wash. I'm just gonna go over my hair very lightly. My hair is, isn't really dirty. Um, and then I'm going to do deep conditioning with this. And um, just my hot cap that goes in a the microwave. Then we're gonna rinse out again and blow dry. And I think I'm going to actually style my hair tomorrow. I'm gonna actually put the uh, crochets in tomorrow. All right guys, I'm at the halfway point. I uh, washed, deep conditioned my hair. Now I have the heated cap on. Um, I bought this many years ago. You're supposed to put this in the microwave for 30 seconds and then you put it on your head. There's some sort of beads inside that get warm. So it's pretty warm. I put it in there for more than 30 seconds, but it's pretty warm. And now I'm just going to feed my mom and let this sit on my head for about 45 minutes and then I'm gonna take a shower, rinse everything out and blow dry. but the conditioner worked very well. My hair is very, very soft. I do feel like it could dry a little bit more here in the middle, like at the crown of my head. It feels like I should go over it a little bit more with the dryer, but it could be that this bathroom is hot and I'm sweating, so I don't know. I'm gonna see how it feels in about 10 minutes. But that's about it. The hair coloring took very well. I see one little white. No, it took very well. I thought I saw one white here, but no. It took very, very well. And I think I'm still gonna cut my hair a little bit tomorrow. I think so. Or at least have my husband cut a little bit. And I'm gonna just take a chill pill for a day and then I'm going to begin the braiding process and crocheting the hair in 
but I'm definitely going on a protective style journey this year. So stay tuned for that. It's gonna be lots of wash and uh, braids so I can wear uh, wigs. And I'm gonna be trying to use new products just to see how different conditioners and everything work with me. But you see, I love old school stuff. I love the olive oil conditioner from my, I think that company is called Fantasia or Hollywood or something. And I love uh, this cholesterol treatment. Now it didn't work as well in my daughter Nadia's hair. Her hair loves coconut, but um, I should have thought to add a little coconut to that. Maybe next time I'll do that. But my daughter uh, Gabby and I have a very similar texture. Anything that works in my hair usually works well in her hair as well. So I'm gonna definitely uh, use that conditioner in her hair. But uh, it has my hair super soft and manageable. And the unbrush, I did use it today to detangle. It works, like I said in that video, I, I knew it would work well in my hair. So I know it's gonna work well in Gabby's hair. So this, this is a good brush. It's a good brush, it's a little bit deceiving. I'll leave the link for my review down below, but overall, it's a good buy, all right? I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Sorry for kisses, bye.